guys so this is an update vlog uh first update i guess is my hair um Bethy and leslie you already know about this but yeah i changed my hair a lot and it's not uh curly i just had it in a bun when it was wet like most of the day so but yeah um it's not this red normally but um it usually looks like this um a lot browner and then there's more like streaks of brown in it now that it's kind of like faded a little bit second update um i know it's the middle of kind of near the end of march now but i'm still trying to truck through my sense and sensibility my book club selection for february uh jane austen is a hard bitch to read i'm gonna try to finish that up soon i'm on page 90 of like 300 and something but we'll, i'll get there might have to read two books at once, but I will read my favorite book selection. Third thing, I may have to amend my, one of my resolutions and the biggest one, um, going vegan. Um, it's not that it was too hard, it's just that I've been losing a lot of weight, and at first I thought it was because of the wisdom tooth thing, like being on a mostly liquidy diet, but um, I didn't really gain any more weight after I started eating regular food again, and I think it has to do with being vegan. And at first, losing weight was a kind of a plus, but now I'm just losing more than I'm really comfortable with. So um, I'm going to switch back to regular food because I think that that is a problem. I'm still going vegetarian all the way though, no more meat whatsoever, but at least I'm going to do the animal byproducts thing, which I'm not too happy about, but I just don't think it's right for my body. The only Real difference is dairy is upsetting my stomach more. There's ways to deal with that. But yeah, so those are my updates. Um, instead, I think I'm going to focus on just getting, making sure that I'm healthy. Like really taking my vitamins every day and just like walking with my pup more, stuff like that. I want to announce a little challenge for myself for next month. In Green from the Vlogbrothers had recently announced that he's going to do a, uh, a daily vlog in April kind of thing and I'm thinking about doing something similar either a vlog or do the kind of writing challenge that Leslie did or like those picture -y challenge things for Facebook so something daily like that now let's do some story cubes Leslie you had posted one of these story cubes a while ago and I thought about tying it at the end of my last book review vlog I could say my first few book review but um there's just too much and I wanted to ask you questions, which you didn't answer. I just realized that. I answered your questions. But anyway. <laughs> story cubes. These were the story cubes that you, Leslie, had posted. So let's uh, do this shit on the fly. So this is a tale about happiness and sadness. There once was a man who lived in the same house his whole childhood. It was like his dream house. He had an awesome childhood, the mom and the dad, and they were just the happiest people ever in this little house. But as he grew older, he felt something was missing in his life, but he couldn't put his finger on what. So he decided to branch out into a different direction, away from his hometown, away from his little house, and decided to be a hand model. Not just any hand model, though, he wanted to be the best hand model in the whole world. As he was out looking for a hand modeling job, he found a tree, and by this tree was a black rock that had no earthly reason for being there, and underneath was a this lighter was something at first he thought was a little hard, but then when he realized, when he looked at it closer, he realized it was a bridge over pretty calm but slightly troubled looking waters. And he was told at the bottom of the note in tiny handwriting that if he crossed over this bridge, he would figure out what he was meant to do for the rest of his life. So he crossed over this bridge, but on the other side wasn't clarity but instead, a fire. It was not a flaming bush like Moses had encountered. A lady standing inside a fire. As he thought that she would tell him what to do or where to go next or 
what he should do with the rest of his life that would bring him happiness, she decided to throw a match on him and set him on fire as well. And he burned up. The end. That's the story, timeness, and updateness, and that's pretty much it for this vlog. Sorry it was kind of dark, and at the end of that story it was kind of dark, but these things happen. Keep you abreast in whatever little april -y madness challenge I decide to do. Love you, bye. Drinking is incredibly low. It's easy, y'all. Do my eyebrows. Anyway. The ice is currently under my desk. Up. I was folding laundry on that not too long ago. What are you doing? Your bone's all the way at the end of it. Get your bone! I says. Oh, yeah, there's my bone. Hey, you get your little cool, little comfy, cozy, I says. You make a giant bed for yourself. You're beautiful.